So let's look at some shoulder patterns today, okay? What do I mean by patterns? Well, some of you guys might be dealing with shoulder pain that you sort of feel in the front. Sometimes you might feel a little achiness on the back. Sometimes you might feel it up here with the upper back or some people would call this the shoulder. So today I thought we'd go through some of the common patterns that I see in shoulder injuries all the time, okay? So one of them would be the front, the most common. The surgeons are oftentimes repairing a structure called the supraspinatus tendon. So by far the most common pattern that we're gonna see is pain associated with a supraspinatus tendonitis, and that is a small muscle that sits up here in the sulcus of the top of your shoulder blade, but it's gonna come down to the very front, and you're probably gonna feel pain at the front cap of the shoulder. So how do we assess that? Well, palpation's the best, so touching it. And if it's super tender and sore, you're probably starting with something. But there's a couple of other tests you can do. One of them, we could use a Codman drop arm position, okay? So hold your arm right here. So when you have an injured supraspinatus, if you put your arm out to 90 degrees, like Christine has here, and you have somebody push down on your arm, and that starts to hurt, you're probably dealing with the pattern of a supraspinatus tendonitis, okay? The other one would be a pattern called the bank cart lesion or a biceps tendonitis pattern. And so in this pattern here, the bank heart lesion is a labral problem. The labrum's in the front of the, of the cap of the shoulder deep down, okay? And for those of you in throwing, tennis, water polo, volleyball, you're gonna find that your arm is in this position when you're performing a sport that you're involved with. And the bank heart lesion would be a soreness and achiness a little bit lower, not towards the top cap area, but in the front and all the way on the inside. So if you follow the musculature, you're gonna feel a little, little gap way down there. You can actually put your finger right on that gap and that's gonna be a real tender spot right as the capsule is touching into the glenoid fossa, which is the bony ring that your humeral bone sits within. Right there, that's the second pattern. Third pattern, the posterior capsule pattern. We're gonna take that arm, and nice to relax there across the front, and in this one here, you might notice that some of the pain is on the back side. There's a couple of different things here, but the supraspinatus, I'm sorry, the infraspinatus and the teres minor are the two muscles that perform this action of external rotation of your humeral bone. And so they really don't like it when the arm is up and across, because then those tendons are being pulled around the corner right here, and they're gonna row over the back of the acromial bone. And so what you'll do is you'll, you'll feel a pain when the arm is being pulled across the front of the body like this. And while you're in this position, you can also check out, and this one is be very nonspecific, meaning that it doesn't tell us exactly what's going on, but an O'Brien's test in this position is with the thumb down and the arm held about 30 degrees across the front plane of the body, and you're gonna hold the arm right there, and I'm gonna push down. And this one here would be testing for a bank cart lesion or a slap lesion.